Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we're doing another five minute review on the 35O Shimmer Palette from Morphe. So this evolved out of the ever so popular Morphe 35O Palette. This one is complete shimmer. Before we jump into the pros and cons, let's do a few swatches. I love the formula of all of these eyeshadows. They are extremely creamy and pigmented and very easy to blend out. Do you hear the noise I have to contend with? Yep, the perils of filming outdoors. I love Morphe's eyeshadows, especially these ones here because they are so creamy and blendable. They are just like butter when you swatch them and when you apply them to your lids and they are super easy to blend out downside to this palette here is that it is a little bit big and bulky. This is something that can definitely be a little bit difficult to travel with. Um, I also feel like the Morphe shadows are a little bit on the delicate side so if this were to drop or get smacked around a little bit in one suitcase or even if you throw it into your bag um, there's bound to be uh, one or two shadows that end up getting broken. As you guys know I live in Canada so I had to order from Morphe's website to receive this palette here as well as some other brushes that I decided to order. It took about a week for them to arrive. I did use FedEx Express International. I paid a little bit of extra money there and then for me to import these into Canada along with about 10 other brushes it cost me about $30 in duties and taxes. So for any Canadian shopping for Morphe's website just be aware that you are going to get charged duties and taxes with your purchase. Overall I give this palette a grade A. I think it has great colors, a lot of different variety of shades and it's really easy to work with. I'm also going to go out on a limb here and ask Morphe to please open up a Canadian store or at least a Canadian distribution center because the taxes and duties Suck. That's it for this five minute review. I hope you enjoyed. Please feel free to leave your comments and thoughts below. I'd like to hear what you think about the 35OS palette. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. I will link everything in the down bar below for you. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.